we move around to these four photographs that we've got of uh, trees, they, they, start, they, they started life as palladium prints. And what I wanted to do at that time was to break away from the, the rectangle, the rectangular photograph. Um, and even in some cases, break out of the individual little rectangle. You'll see if we move down, if I can move with you. If you look at this image, they, even these branches have broken out of their little 35 millimeter rectangle. So I was trying um, very hard to break, break out of this normal, the normal sort of rectangular framework. And I made these as palladium prints around about the year 2000. And about a decade later, I went and found the same trees again and photographed them in colour. And I experimented adding, just gluing the colour photographs on top of the monochrome images. And uh, what I, the pleasant surprise that I found was that they, instead of looking like two different layers, the colour photographs started to give a sense of form to the images. A sense of roundness and in some cases, in some of my monochrome prints, it's as if you're looking through a fence. If the white lines are too, too strong, it's as if you're looking through a fence. It's something that's beyond. And putting these colour photographs on top brought, brought the image closer to the picture plane, back up to the surface. There were some quite amazing surprises. I don't know if, you, I don't know if you'll be able to see these two frames down here. But the, the colour... The colour frame was taken uh, 10 years after the monochrome frame next to it and there's hardly any change in the standpoint. It's, it's very similar. So it was full of surprises. Interestingly, if you can draw back in this uh, image, these trees here, these two trees here, or in fact all three trees, are echoed over here. They're the same three trees. And those are the same three trees as well. So there are different viewpoints and different ways of depicting these trees or the situation within the same, the same image. And again, the colour photographs were taken over an extended period of time. There, there's summer, there's winter, there may be some autumn ones somewhere other. So not only does this image sort of span a decade, but within it there's an extended period of time too. Um, I think, yeah, this, this uh, image here, again, talking about the different ways of depicting the same tree. This is the same tree as we looked at down there. And here again are those two other trees in the background. They're, the title of the piece is The Three Trees, and they're different versions of the short film of The Three Trees or whatever. And that's just an, a nod to Rembrandt's, I believe it's a dry point, Rembrandt's print. Of the, th of the same name. Um, there's a quality of palladium printing uh, that resembles a fine print, a monochrome print, an aquatint or a dry point. There's that sort of quality of it, if you can see them without the glass on. And that was my background. And that's, I had Rembrandt's image in mind you know, loosely when I was making these pictures.